Have you ever wondered how a movie seat gets blocked for you the moment you click it, even before you pay? Behind the scenes, the system doesn't book the seat immediately. It temporarily locks the seat. When you select a seat, the request goes through an API gateway and triggers a Lambda function. This Lambda creates a lock in Redis using the show ID and seat number. While creating this lock, Redis is told to do two things. First, create the key only if it does not already exist. Second, attach a time to live, usually around five minutes. Because of this, only one user can successfully lock a seat at a time. If someone else tries to select the same seat, Redis instantly rejects the request. The TTL plays a critical role here. If the user completes the action within the time window, the system moves forward. If the user closes the app or waits too long, Redis automatically deletes the key when the TTL expires. That automatic expiry releases the seat without any manual cleanup. So in simple terms, seat locking is just a Redis key with a TTL and Redis handles the timeout safely and efficiently at scale. Follow Datastreak for more system design video.